Hey! What are you doing here, Chico? Wait, you're gonna give up? Throw in the towel? Run away like Jesus' disciples after he died? <sighs> hey, look, man. We can't switch life to easy mode. This isn't Mario and Luigi's dream team. And quitting is not an option. The only way forward is to get up and try again. Maybe you did fail, yeah? But in the process, you probably learned a bunch of important lessons to keep going. Come on. I'm not leaving unless you're coming with me. We're in this together. If you've made mistakes, you're not alone. We all stumble like a fresh baby giraffe along the way, but this is how we learn. When I was a young lad, I never learned from my mistakes. Instead, they just sent me deeper into the depths of damnation. If I had failed the test, and let me tell you, I failed many, I would just give up. I wouldn't even try to study harder or try to figure out what I did wrong. Instead, I'd draw creepy animals on my test and then literally mark my own test before handing them in. I'd write F. You failed, and then just give it in like that. <laughs> and if I relapse into porn, I just give up trying. Why not do it again another day? It's day zero, I'm already a failure. Yo, if you feel this kind of way, Lucy's got a chokehold on you. Are you really gonna let him win? This doesn't have to be the end. Maybe you backslided, you relapse, you're going through hard times, life isn't going the way you expected, you're taking L's, who cares? You think brother Joseph gave up when life wasn't going his way? When he was sold into slavery or sent to prison? No, instead of letting Lucy win, he locked in! Ah! Take a page from Joseph's book. He remained faithful. He kept his eyes on God no matter what was thrown at him. He stood firm in his faith and kept his heart pure. And look at David. When he didn't keep his heart pure, he didn't give up. He repented and weeped and brought himself back to God. He tried again. Imagine if you tried again as many times as you try again after you lose a game of league when you said last one. Sometimes when I fail in life, all I want to do is just play Clash of Clans, binge YouTube shorts, eat an egregious amount of candy, and lie around with my back and neck hunched like a freaking camel. But imagine I do that even for one day a week. That's 52 days a year wasted. On the other hand, imagine if I actually cleaned my butt in the shower and put on some new underwear for the first time in two weeks and locked in. That's 52 days now invested into worthwhile things like pouring into my career or growing in my faith or serving others. Would you rather continue to waste the time and energy God gives you to eat Oreos and watch dogs poo or get back up and get your head in the game? Maybe you need to do a little reset, change the bed sheets, get a new toothbrush kind of thing, or maybe you have to get out the old habit tracker and start reading the Bible and praying again. Start small and build up that consistency. This isn't a sprint, we're in a marathon. Just because someone stumbles and loses their path doesn't mean they're lost forever. That's Charles Xavier. Don't get sucked into despair. That's how the devil subtly takes you away from God. Instead, head back to God. Don't forsake your creator. Giving into the ways of the world isn't the only way. You can choose love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. It's only the end if you want it to be, if you give up. And one last thing to remember is this, you are not alone. Jesus promises that he'll never leave you. And he promises that he'll give you strength and sustain you. And he does this because he fully understands what you are going through right now. Jesus doesn't give us overcoming life. He gives us life as we overcome. The worst mistake that we can make is to look at our failures and difficulties instead of the living God. <laughs> Our hardships and stumblings are merely platforms for the manifestations of His power, His love, and grace. Come on, it's October 1st, and you know what that means. New month, new mercies! And that is it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed and learned a thing or two. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. Don't forget you can sign up for my mailing list to receive my monthly prayer letters. But that's it for me today. Just remember, if anyone that knows the good they ought to do and doesn't do it, it's sin for them. So please, kill the flesh. Showing up uninvited Phone up, girl, I need to go silent